Okay, we have just started to record. Uh, and then now I will actually go on our uh, Facebook Live jaw. Uh, on the other Facebook. So once Facebook Live for my Google delay saying uh, it will be about 10 seconds going to delay lah. But now I'm sharing on uh, UBS the Facebook Live. Just a moment, I take a little bit of time to um, okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll start in seven minutes. I'm doing a talk show now. If you if you own another device, you can see yourself on Facebook Live. <laughs> this is this is how you look on Facebook Live. <laughs> So the 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 four key key person there already huh? mm. Okay. Uh, basically, uh, a very good evening to everyone. We are about to start. Uh, at this present moment, normally what we do is that we give uh all our audience about five minutes to settle down because some are just adjusting the camera, some are adjusting the volume, some are adjusting the screen, uh, some are trying to find a comfortable seat to sit uh, to listen to our guest speakers for today. So uh, we'll give it another four minutes uh, for our audience uh, to tune in. Uh, and once exactly 7.35 sharp, I will start introducing uh, both our invited guest speakers and we'll start the event and the talk at 7.35 p.m. sharp. Mm -hmm. So uh, for you, there's still another four more minutes. If you need to go and grab a drink, go and grab a drink. Uh, put another cushion to make your, your seat comfortable. Go ahead, do whatever you want. Uh, and uh, enjoy the show shortly. We'll start in... Uh, Three minutes time. Okay. Uh, same thing for the speakers. Speakers, if you feel like getting a drink or, or, or a Pepsi or some warm water, please go ahead and uh, just do it. Yeah. A little, a little bit about this this uh, talk actually. Uh, basically, as I was just sharing with Vincent. Uh, the senior manage, manager for Chumalang Group. Uh, actually, frankly, uh, preparing students physically for school with uh, personal protection equipment. Generally, we are doing this more of a service. Our core uh, business in the industry is still on uh, school supply, learning resources, books, uh, libraries, and so on and so forth. But there's so much of demand and so much of request from the education community that they have told us, can you please help? Because there are so many things and uh, we are actually looking for resources and stuff, all right, uh, to ensure that our kids go back to school uh, safely. Because 
in the modern family, right, many families yeah. only have one or two kids. They don't have that many kids and every one of the kids is super special and super important to us. So uh, safety is utmost, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really, really important thing to us. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So at this present moment, uh, within the uh, the uh, what do you call that the um, Zoom, uh, we have about fifteen over guests uh, joining. Uh, many they are our associates and uh, colleagues as such. Uh, I'm sure we will all learn from this uh, talk and uh, will gain a lot of uh, valuable insight and information from our guest speakers. And uh, on the Facebook Live, people will start. Uh, tuning in and I'll be watching the show uh, very, very soon. Okay. Okay. Two minutes to go. Two minutes to count down. So are you guys excited for the evening? How, how are you feeling, Tammy? One of your very first uh, Facebook live session as well as a uh, Zoom live session that's going to be broadcast to the whole world, right? At Wait. least our world. Uh. <laughs> Happy Kanchang. <laughs> you you look very good, very nice uh, uh, dress and makeup and uh, lighting is nice and the uh, composite of the of the entire backdrop is 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 good. What about Wai Chen? Are you excited or cool piece of cake? <laughs> I, used to, used to, uh, I used to listen or watch the you know the YouTuber and all the kind of the live. This is my first time to live uh, on Facebook. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, the feeling is a bit weird. Mm. Actually, to everyone, that's always the first. And uh, once you do this, it will be pretty normal. That's what I was sharing with some of my colleagues and uh, and uh, fellow uh, friends as well that get used to this because it's going to be the new way of uh, sharing and it could even be the new way of sales. It could even be a new ways of uh, reaching out to people. Now in China, those Wang Hong, if you engage them to do one show like that, it will cost you a few hundred thousand renminbi actually, you know. It's no joke, you know, because whatever they say, uh, the credible and there's a lot of people who follow them, uh, people will start buying things crazy if, uh, if you find a really good uh, Wang Hong to, to do your show. Okay, as promised, uh, we will start sharp at 7.35 and now it's uh, 7.35. A very good evening, a very warm welcome to all our friends and guests who are with us today. And uh, we're very blessed and lucky to have uh, two of our very uh, good speakers that will touch on the subject of uh, preparing students physically for school with personal protective equipment. Now in this talk, we will actually cover uh, a few important points. One of the important points is that preparing uh, kids to be back in school with technology, uh, with smart face recognition, as, as such, uh, with smart face recognition uh, software, as well as uh, we are talking about uh, understanding the different types of uh, personal protection equipment as well. Okay. Oh, uh, I will have to mute uh, some of those uh, participants who just join us. Okay, so the things that, let me introduce the speakers to you. The first speaker is uh, Miss Tammy Poon. Uh, a little bit about her background. She, she works for a company called Time Tight Cloud Syndrome Brahad, and she serves as a senior manager in that group of companies. Uh, Tammy started her career at a very young and tender age of 18 years old as a junior editor in a small e-book company. Then she sharpened her skills in sales and joined FingerTech Worldwide to embark on a journey to build a local biometrics uh, brand FingerTech from ground zero to be a trusted global brand that it is now. All right? And Tammy has actually uh, been traveling uh, worldwide. Okay. Um, because the okay, Tammy has been traveling worldwide, and the things that are from Dubai to Moscow to South Africa to Vietnam to China and many more to open the market for fintech biometrics. And after nearly twenty years, 
she looks like 18 still, right? <laughs> yeah, she's working there for 20 years. <laughs> Her expertise is needed to build a network of resellers for cloud solutions for Time Tech Cloud. And her experience in the customer relationship is uh, really valuable in promoting the uh, brand uh, forward into becoming a world leading cloud solutions for the workforce in Malaysia and abroad as well. She's also involved in the sales and marketing of hardware solutions. Uh, she do engage with a customer often. And her forte for nearly two decades is dealing with people and customers. I'm sure she's so experienced. Uh, she's now settled down with her husband and three little boys, and one will be going back to school very soon. I'm sure because this is uh, something that is really personal because our kids need to be safe when we prepare them to go to school. So even for the public or even for herself, it's, uh, it's really meaningful. We would like to introduce our second speaker, Mr. Kok Wei Chen. Mr. Kok Wei Chen works for a company called Artisan Premium. All right. He's a senior product specialist, probably like an engineer uh, an expert. Uh, all right. And after receiving his degree, he was promoted to be a product specialist to market and educate distributors on the products and uh, publishing. All right. He conduct research and uh, he answers the chemical and science related questions of the product. Because the component of products, when they're dealing with chemicals, some chemical may be corrosive. All right. We need an expert to, uh, to, to basically, um, what to call it, uh, share with us on uh, how this thing works actually. So Wei Chen will actually share with us the benefit of whole HOCL. I don't actually know what is HOCL. I'm looking forward to hear what is HOCL actually. And uh, one of the different types of uh, hand sanitizer. And what does it mean by using disinfectant, all right? And uh, why is it uh, important to use uh, natural uh, ingredients that is eco-friendly, uh, that is animal and child-friendly as well? Uh, because life is really just too precious as we learn from this uh, COVID experience. And then also it's multi-purpose usage that allows it to be sprayed on the desired surface to be sterilized, such as uh, hand, body, clothing, toys, mobile phones, tableware, air around us, all right, toilet. And uh, it has to be absolutely healthy and safe. And uh, it should not have any toxic on uh, probably alcohol-free. It should be mild enough that it's not harmful to people and non-irritating. And also important to note, like, uh, which are the product that is, uh, we should be extra careful when we have a pregnant woman or babies uh, around us, all right? And he will talk about HOCL uh, that in fact, this in fact 80 times higher than the usual bleach with the same concentration. And why it is so effective that it kills 99.99% of bacteria, germs, and viruses. He thoroughly performs sterilization and sanitization. And uh, he will also speak about HOCI, is it? Which will be reduced to water after every reaction and thus is harmless to our body and the environment as well, all right? Now, especially in the schools, we are talking about uh, borrowing the, the, the current world from our kids actually, so that when we hand over the kids and the next generation and future generation, it will be a really nice world rather than a very, uh, <clears throat> what to call that, uh, contaminated world. So environmental issues is utmost important and it's always been discussed as the topic in schools as well. So how does all this uh, chemical uh, be easy to dispense? And what's the right amount to spray? And how do we use it to avoid bacteria and eliminate offending uh, bacteria thoroughly? So uh, I'm looking forward to hear from you guys. So first of all, I would like to hand the session over to Tammy uh, to share with us about your technology and how to help us prepare our kids and everyone to go back to school safely. Over to you, Tammy. Hi, thank you, Keith. Hello, good evening, everyone. Thank you for tuning in tonight. I hope everyone already have a dinner. Um, 
Thank you, University Bookstore Malaysia, for giving me the opportunity to do a sharing on the sub on this subject, how to um how to get uh how to prepare a better protection for our children when they are returning to school. Okay, I think I don't need to um, tell more about, I think Keith already said it all. So I have been with the company for 20 years and I'm a full-time working mom with three little boys. And uh, actually one will be going back to the primary school and another one will be going back to the preschool. And uh, the government has just recently announced that 1st of July, the preschool will open first. Okay, so I think um, very kanjang now for every parents uh, and all that. Okay, so when students returning to school, so um, if there's parents, I would like to ask, how do you feel? Okay, I think it's a mixed feelings because I'm a parent. Um, I do feel mixed feelings. So at the same time, I feel like, okay, it's enough. Three months break, enough, long enough already. No school, right? At home doing nothing, I feel so wasted. And then, um, but at the same time, I want to send him back to school, but at the same time, I'm also worried. So worried that, yeah, if later send him back, uh, later, um, if let's say, unfortunately, and then contract with the COVID-19, then it would be very, something very serious. So it, it would be like the whole family issue, right? And then, uh, so it's really, really tough decision. So I really hope that, so we will, I mean, for the school, so that they will have to prepare, uh, well prepare for that so that when, when the students going back to school, so the, the, the parents, the teachers will be in a safe environment so that everything will go back to normal, as we hope. Okay, so these are the new norm SOP. So uh, I, I, I segregated it into uh, four categories. So the first one would be the face mask. So everybody would be wearing face mask. It's a very normal. Now, when you go out, you have to waste a face mask. So if one day you forgot the face mask and you go out, you feel like hey, you are walking uh, naked in the in the market in uh, in the in, on the street, right? So you feel very 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 worried. And the temperature check. So whenever where you go, so every everybody will shoot a gun, like want to shoot you like that. So the feelings is a bit uh, um, a bit uncomfortable, I would say sometimes. And sanitizer and social distancing is very normal. I think uh, everybody knows about that. So today I would cover on the face mask and also the temperature checks, which our system could uh, could do on that part. So can you see this image? So the temperature they took down is from 29 Celsius to 33, which is very abnormal. So they are using the infrared gun that shoot on you every time you're trying to go into the shop or into the buildings. So, but because the, there are many brands that you doesn't know whether the quality, whether it's good or not. So uh, when the inaccuracy temperature is being read and then you doesn't know, uh, then that is the thing that we do want to happen, right? So if anybody get into the, get into the school with the, with, the, with the abnormal temperature and then infected the rest, then it will be a very, very, uh, very, very bad things. So, and also for the, uh, for the speed uh, for on the school side, they also have to take into consideration. If each student, they have to take 30 seconds or more than that to detect the temperature and you, have, you are having a 300 students, it will require two and a half hours to complete the whole process. Imagine that if you have all the students coming in at 7 a.m. and then you try to read temperatures for everybody, so it's going to delay the school time, right? And also, how many staff are you going to allocate to do the checking? Okay, so after you do the checking and then all the data you have collected, how, how are you going to keep them? Is it going to keep them on a the paper or you have to key into the system again? So these are the weaknesses that uh, um, we, we can found from the current uh, the infrared gun. Okay, so uh, based on the... Hold on, yeah. Okay, there are eight tips in choosing the right device. So I have summarized it based on my 20 years experience in the industry. Okay, so the accuracy is a must. So you make sure that um, you have the temperature data is accurate so that we can make sure people, be it students or the parents or the visitors or the suppliers uh, with, anomi with temp uh, abnormal temperature will be found out at the entrance. 
Otherwise, if anybody is having fever, got into the school and infected others, then the worst scenario would be we might go in through another MCO again. Uh, I don't know about you, but I would not want to experience another MCO in my life anymore. Okay, so anti-spoofing. So um, for school, um, there are many kids and they are playful. So they will try, they will try to find ways to fool the system. So they are trying to find their photos or uh, uh, a star photo so to try to fool the system. So the anti-spoofing is very important. And also it must be easy to use. So uh, it should be just stand in front of the system and then get very quiet and then go in. So if you have fewer, then you cannot go in. That's all. So if you are wearing a mask, you don't have to um, take off the mask to scan, okay? And uh, cost effective. So when, um, usually when we say cost effective, many people would think cost effective equals to cheap. It does, does, does that mean the same thing? So for me, cost effective meaning that you invest on something, uh, um, you invest on something, but then that thing um, you're going to use in a daily basis for a long time, okay? So if you are buying something very cheap, you found that, oh, you're very happy, you found something very cheap in the market. So it's the cheapest deal in the market. But then, um, okay, you bought it and then you started using it. But then after maybe one or two years, and then you, um, you started facing some problem, maybe there are some spare parts issue. So you need, to, you need to replace or you need to get someone to support. And then you couldn't find that one, that the person that's selling the system to you anymore. And then you will have to, you will have to buy a new system. And then so that will cost you even more so that it's not cost effective. So you, uh, when I say cost effective, that, that means you invest on something, you find a good brand. So you're going to use for a long run, let's say a few years at least. So when you are having a problem, someone will be there for you. Okay, so that, that, that is what I meant here. So a good brand and after sales support is also very important. And seamless integration. So whether the system can integrate with your current school system, uh, it's also very important. So uh, whether the school, uh, the student data can be integrated with your school system and the teacher, teacher data can be used for the attendance and all that. So that one also have to take into consideration. Um, the fast flow because the teacher, I uh, mean the student have to come in at the same time. So the flow, we have to make sure the flow is really fast so that everybody can uh, go back to school, um, go back to the class and resume the study very, very effectively. Okay, so this is the, our time tag facial recognition with temperature detection. So you can see actually you are wearing a face mask then it can also detect and then it's fulfill all the eight criteria that I mentioned just now. I will, I will elaborate further on our brand history and what, what we are and all that later. Okay, so I will show you a video on uh, how this Smart as you want TD work. Smart AC1 TD, your initial shield against COVID-19. The Smart AC1 TD is the latest anti-epidemic biometrics product that scans a user for body temperature, face with mask, and a palm. It has an option to deny access when a user is having a high temperature of 37.5 degrees Celsius or higher, or the user is not wearing any face mask. It offers two stand options for a desktop or a LAN stand, and it can be wall mounted as a door access control system, making it suitable for any entrances. Smart AC1 TD safeguards your staff and premises from COVID 19 symptoms. Contact info at timetechcloud.com or call 0380. Okay, um, sorry. Okay, that's the video. So you can see uh, just now. Um, it can scan palm, scan face, and then when you are wearing a mask, it can verify your identity. And then uh, if someone is not wearing a mask, it will deny the access or trigger the alarm. And also someone with fever, that it will trigger the alarm. So uh, for the school, if, I mean, it's the first line for the, at the, you can put this in the entrance. So if anybody with abnormal temperature, so you can cut it from at, at the entrance. So to make everybody stay safe in the school. Okay, I have put it in a picture so that how the system could work. So you can see, okay, the time tag smart 81 will be at the entrance. Student verify their face uh, and temperature data will be recorded. And um, the, in the admin office, 
you will be able to the student attendance and temperature data will be auto automatic uh, automatically updated in the system so and then the reports and all that will be ready for to keep or for any future reference okay so i would now i would like to talk about our company our company uh, started since year 2000 i was there with the company since until now and then we have 20 years experience in the security system and then 10 years ago we are uh, we are getting into the cloud solutions we have multiple cloud solutions including from time attendance and leave management and many many of them and then we are a ISO company ISO standard company with 21 patents 19 international awards and certification we have 150 50 countries sales network in the in the international so the biggest the biggest market we actually export to is United States and then Middle East region. Surprisingly, that you know, a Malaysia brand is very selling very good in USA. And uh, we are a stable company with multiple clients. And next, I'm going to show the clientele of our our company. So you see, Coca Cola, Yili Group, QSR, uh, Big Apple, Mummy, and then there are also schools that already installed with our face recognition uh, system and then there are actually more now but um, now I, I, I couldn't get the details yet so these are the one that I, I could compile off okay that's all thank you Cannot hear you. I'm sorry, I, I muted my <laughs> my mic. Actually, uh, I mean, thank you so much, Tammy. Actually, it's been really informative for uh, for sharing with us. I think one of the most important thing is uh, is what you shared is that it's really time saving. You know, many a times we go to a shopping mall, right? The guard actually scans us. But sometimes you're so afraid of the guard. Uh, the guard almost deal with everybody. And if anybody got virus, the guard will kena already. So yeah. uh, the things are, so when the guard scanners us, uh, sometimes also we're a bit afraid, you know, because he's exposed whole day long, you know, and then the kind of uh, uh, risk that we, we we deal with in the guard scanner. So actually I would trust your system more, you know, because I'll just stand in front of the, of the machine, it gets scanned already, and then it's, it's, I just walk past. I don't even have the risk of doing that. And the, the other thing is that uh, you were talking about cost effectiveness. Actually, frankly, because of the SOP, right? If any, being a business owner, right? If you don't follow any of the SOP, uh, the, it's not the machine cost, so it's the fine from the government and lock down your whole company without doing any business, uh, that cost is crazy. It drive every boss mad, actually. So yes. this, this is really, uh, it's, it's not to say that you spend a small sum of money, right? But it's actually, firstly, the safety of our team members, the people who work for us, as well as uh, a prevention from being fine unnecessarily. And um, the, the thing, i actually seen many systems, actually, the good part I find is that because you have local support, you understand the local market and then yeah. you do the programming uh, locally so that it fits the people here. And sometimes your Asian features and Orang Putih vision a little bit driven, like our eyes are smaller than them sometimes. And you, you, you do the thousands and thousands of, uh, of uh, trials until you get it perfected over in this region. That is a... Uh, achievements and also congratulations for for doing Malaysia proud by exporting to US and stuff like that. Actually frankly I received almost 10 20 proposals from the UK and US but their their thing is so freaking expensive that it's uh it's like 10 times the price of yours you know that we just couldn't consider and at the present moment especially for Malaysia uh, yeah. The cost of freight and courier is gone up so tremendously because there's so few flights that uh, actually the, the right thing to do is get locally and we can call you right anytime there's a problem and stuff like that. We don't yeah. need to wait for actually, the different time zone to call a foreign supplier, right? Yeah. 
Actually, in Malaysia itself, we have more than like we have we have around four hundred active partners in um in the whole country. So whenever you, I mean, so we can have like very fast support. So we have the stock ready, and then we have the parts. We make sure that every client will be a happy client using our product. So oh, and then we, our mission is to to make sure that our product will be able to provide a very safe environment for to protect the kids because the kids are very important, right? Mm -hmm. For the country. So absolutely, absolutely. And then I also have watched the sharing done by uh, Mr. Charles Dormer from Nilai, the principal of Nilai International School. Yeah, he's an amazing guy. They have already done every, you know, uh, every possible way that they want to protect the kids from the school bus to the tiny eraser, so they have already thought of that. So I believe, I believe a good system, just a good system to, to, to make everything perfect. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, thanks again for sharing. Uh, we'll hand over the time now to Wai Chen, uh, who will be sharing with us uh, about the uh, chemicals and uh, some of the other things, probably some, some charts or something that can help us. Sometimes there's, we are so busy, there are so many things we may have missed this or missed that and stuff like that. But then the things that are, uh, it's good that people come forward to share. So Wai Chen, over to you, please take the stage. Okay. Thank you, Kate. Um, okay, so welcome uh, tonight uh, to joining us, uh, Facebook friend, hi. Okay, thanks UPSM for today's event. Uh, the live event. Thanks, Kate. Okay, so today, today topic is regarding preparing students physically for school and with the PPE and for a safety way to go back to school. So, um, okay. So, okay, uh, let me just a moment now. Okay. Today, top, uh, okay. Uh, I, my name is uh, Wai Chen, uh, you can call me Wai Chen, my name is Wai Chen, and I'm the Senior Product Specialist of Artisan Premium Serum. And uh, thanks for joining us for the Zoom Live and the Facebook Live today. So on behalf of uh, Artisan Premium Serum, I, I would like to welcome you all today. So today I will make a presentation regarding the Personal Protective Equipment, PPE. Okay, so let me start with my slides. Okay. Okay. So before I start, uh, okay, before I start, let me uh, tell everyone, okay, according to the Ministry of Education, uh, schools uh, start opening soon. So as for school, we have many preparations need to be done before the day open for all the students come back. So we need to ensure the SOP are being uh, implemented effectively for everyone in the schools. So especially the hygiene is the most important because uh, without the proper hygiene um, methods, so we might get infection with the COVID-19, which is now is quite serious. And some, even some countries when the yeah, schools start opening, so they have the second wave of the infection. It's quite dangerous. It might, uh, it might close the school for 14 days, or it might affect the life of for students. So that's why we need to uh, taking care of the hygiene very well. So today I will do some introduction for the poster and sanitizer. Um, regarding the sanitizer, there, there are many types as uh, Kate say in the markets, you can find in uh, some shopping platform, you can find lots of uh, types of like the uh, sanitizer. But what's, what's the difference between each other, how to differentiate it and People are selling all kinds of uh, sanitizer. I think if we, without any knowledge or guidance, we might buy the wrong sanitizer for ourselves, you know. Because some, some sanitizer, they might not be meeting the requirement. Let's say like the HSOCL. Some they're selling with the 50 ppm or 100 ppm. And some with the alcohol base, 
they might using the uh, industry, industry alcohol to put as the alcohol based sanitizer, then they sell it, they sell it with a low price. This is uh, something is uh, uh, not proper. So we have to be careful. Okay. So later we will go through and see how to categorize it and what the characteristic for all kinds of uh, sanitizer. Actually, basically we have uh, uh, three kinds, let's say, like the alcohol base we have, um, we have also water base of uh, sanitizer and we have the HOCL, okay. So, well, let me start with, with the slides, okay. So first I start with the poster. So according to the guidance, uh, which announced by Ministry of Education, from the screen, uh, a screenshot from the Kaisan Bantuan, maybe I covered the front page, but this is uh, regarding the guidance for opening the schools, okay? In the clause 6.2.15. So I don't need to read in, shall I read it in Malay? Or maybe I, in English, just go through, wait a moment, okay? So, Mampamil Gan is uh, like show the, how we need to have a printed material regarding hygiene and safety methods, which can be shown to students in strategic location, as under like uh, office, classroom, walkway, canteen, and as a club. So this is the poster, let me show you, which is uh, informative and we have uh, attractive uh, pictures and of course the contents is very um, informative. So from the contents we created the poster, we can know more about the COVID-19 to let the students uh, more, have more information about, about the COVID-19, how is it? And even we have a very clear picture and uh, 3D and some, uh, let the student feel like, uh, like you can see from the screen, it will be fun. So with all these cartoonish, cartoon, so students will slowly and slowly get uh, some like the, get used to it on how the virus is. Like my children, my kids, they're only four years old and six years old. They're always like get, getting all this uh, kind of uh, information from the TV, sometime from the poster. Now they even can say, uh, Papa, there is a virus. Uh, you know, four years old, even two years old, my youngest son, he even start uh, speaking that he even can mention, oh, this is virus, you know, the ball type with, uh, you know, the tentacles, like the, what we show in the, in the poster. So actually all kind of the material, uh, which can let the student, uh, or let the kids, attract them is the way like what the MOE expected. So actually we can let the students get more um, information and know more about the COVID-19. So, okay. So this, uh, it, it will be like more fun to learn the safety needed uh, and to aware to avoid from COVID-19 infection. So at least they can know how the virus is and how to prevent it. Okay, so it's good to let them more exposure to the information and the diagram to show them. So, uh, okay, so I, I go through the, uh, one more thing I need to add on, we have the QR code in every poster to, which allow them to play the video once they scan it. So let me play the video. show the next uh, poster. So we have uh, this. We have uh, how to wear the mask and how to wash uh, 
how to protect ourselves from the COVID-19, we need to wash hand. So from all these are interesting diagram, we can show the students, the kids, and we also sure we can play all, all these uh, poster with the video. So they just uh, scan the QR video. Okay. So this is how to wear the mask. Okay, then how to take care of the hygiene, the cleanliness of the school, how to wash the hand, the method, we show them the what, uh, seven methods on how to clean the hand, okay, the distance, the practice the social distance, one meter, okay, and the symptoms of the COVID-19, and we have the uh, the spread of the COVID-19 and our responsibility. Okay, so this is the poster. We have eight types of poster in one pack, in one package. So it's very informative and it's uh, very good for all all students uh, to put it uh, to to have it. Okay, so this is about the poster, and uh, now I start with the sanitizer. Okay, from the sanitizer, actually now we know there are many types uh, of sanitizer, okay, but uh, not all kind of uh, sanitizer we can use for rubbing our hand. Um, for the, from, from what the, actually the WHO they have been recommended, we can see from the, the official uh, recommendation from the uh, the the WHO. You can you can search it in uh, their website. Okay, actually WHO recommends the following. You can see uh, we need uh, at least one or several hand hygiene station, and also for hand wrapping. Actually, we recommend to uh, actually uh, WHO is recommend to wash do the hand, hand, hand washing frequently with soap or water or with the hand uh, wrapping with the alcohol base, alcohol base, you see, hand wrap. Actually, Tapesho is more recommend to use the alcohol base instead of other sanitizer. But anyhow, we still have another type which is the uh, same effectiveness with the alcohol base, which is HOCL, which we will talk later. So, Actually, um, for, for cleaning out, to, to wash our hand, we can either choose a soap or uh, just a water to wash. But imagine when we go to school or every en entry of the uh, door, we need to wash it, but how we can find the water and the soap. So that's why we need kind of like the, um, alco uh, like the alcohol to clean it instantly instead of just finding the water and soap to wash our hands. So that's why we need kind of like the sanitizer, okay? So actually alcohol-based uh, sanitizer is highly recommended by WHO. But there is, a, you see there is a number, there is a six uh, on the hand rub. Uh. Let's, let me see it, what the clause about, okay? Chlorine hand washing solutions are not recommended uh, because uh, the, the chlorine uh, actually is might be harmful to our skin, uh, especially like the you, you know in the pool, the swimming pool, they apply they apply chlorine to kill all the germs, but it's in certain of the quantity. And once they apply chlorine, they're not allow people to swimming. Actually, it's harmful. Okay, so that's why tapeh shot actually is not recommended to use the chlorine to wash hand. So only recommended the alcohol base, but later we will talk about the uh, HSOCL, how is it, okay? But alcohol base is the highly recommended, okay? All kind of the sanitizer we have actually, uh, we have the certification and did all kind of the analysis with the KKM and the MOH. So our manufacturer actually is a Biopotanic International, Sunil Bahad. Uh, we are the main distributor of this sanitizer, Artisan uh, Sanitizer, okay? Uh, this is our brand, Artisan, okay? So this is our co content and our uh, 
I need to do the, uh, you know, the, 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 the important part uh, of the content. We have the 75 denatural ethanol. So this actually is a very important um, alcohol in the alcohol-based hand sanitizer. If without this 75 denatural ethanol, it can be, they might, they might contain of industrial uh, alcohol, which is very harmful and is uh, not the organic ethanol, okay? So let's see. Most of the com cosmetic product, actually we, uh, you can find the alcohol denatural, de they call alcohol denatural. This uh, alcohol, which is an uh, organic type and is uh, used for the cosmetic and saloon. So it's very safe for your skin. Even uh, the pregnant or the children actually must apply on hand. So by the way, I need to make a disclaimer. All kind of the sanitizer and all kind of the disinfectant cannot drink, okay? So just uh, I, I need to mention about that, okay? So, okay, this are uh, regarding the alcohol. So we must ensure actually to have the alcohol in it. By the way, we also have the content of the vitamin E in the content ingredients of the, this, our, our alcohol-based uh, uh, sanitizer. These are very good for those uh, people like we, like now actually many people that stay in the indoor without going out. So we need more vitamin. So this actually is something like the additional uh, we add on to the, our sanitizer. Also we have uh, aloe vera. So our sanitizer actually is very good and we have uh, additional ingredients which uh, is very safe to use and can also can have more enhancement on our skin also. So it's very harmless. And we can kill 99.99% of germs and viruses on surfaces also. We can spray, uh, we can put the, uh, the alcohol-based uh, sanitizer, we can spray on to clean the table or any type of the surfaces also. So it's very safe and very effective. Alcohol can kill instantly, okay? So this is about the alcohol-based uh, sanitizer. So we proceed to another type of the sanitizer, water-based. So water-based sanitizer, we call it, uh, our, our sanitizer of the water-based, we call it artisan sanitizer disinfectant. So we can do instant clean also, but because it's water-based, so we require some time to dry it. So it's not an uh, alcohol. Alcohol-based actually, once you spray it within a second, it will dry. So this is a different of the uh, water-based and the alcohol sanitizer. Actually, water-based, we have uh, benzatonium chloride uh, and also the silver chloride. Both of these is a uh, uh, agent to kill the, can do the instant kill for germs and you also have the effectiveness of 99.99%. So what's the, what's the characteristic of these two actually? Um, as some recommendation from mine is uh, alcohol based actually we more apply on rubbing hand just, just like the, what the WHO recommended. For water paste, normally we recommend to, to do it, the sanitizing for the big hall, on the hard surfaces, on the room, uh, like uh, meeting room, classroom. We can do the sanitizing on the table or the toilet. So this is uh, something like um, very effective. And mostly we apply on root, on the, you know, the, 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 and, environment things uh, to, to apply on the hand wrapping actually we still highly recommend to use the alcohol base okay so these are the ingredients we highlighted okay okay after the regarding this actually both of these are uh, sanitizer we have a uh, five five liter and the uh, 500 meter as you've seen on the screen, uh, on the on the photo, we we have uh, these two types of the sanitizer in bottle 
uh, of a 5 liter and the 500 uh, ml, which is 500 ml is for spray. Okay, we have two types. So even the alcohol, alcohol we also have two types. Okay, we have a bottle of a 5, five liter and also with the 500 ml with the spray. Okay. The next is regarding the handy sanitizer, which is, uh, we call it handy because it's uh, very convenient to carry around. Uh, we have two types. One type is, uh, uh, we call the artisan hand sanitizer. It's, uh, it's uh, alcohol-based. The content is uh, same like the, what I mentioned just now, the big bottle, 5 liter and 500 ml, but this one is a gel form. Gel form of the sanitizer, we bottle it in a 60 ml in the bottle. So it's a very convenient to carry and to apply on hand, which is not liquid. So it won't easily uh, spread, uh, leak out and waste the, the alcohol. So it's a gel. So we need to squeeze a little bit of the bottle to squeeze out the gel. So this is a very uh, easy to use. Okay. So the next, actually, the, the, the handy sanitizer, we have the HOCL. Later, we will mention about how the HOCL effectiveness, actually the HOCL effectiveness, this is alcohol-free, and even it's, a, it's more safer compared to alcohol-based because alcohol, since the alcohol, the, it has the alcohol content, it might be, uh, it might be, have some side effect like the, for those like the allergic people, they're allergic to alcohol. They are not actually um, be re recommended to use the alcohol based because once they apply, they might have uh, the allergic on their skin, they were swollen. So this is very dangerous for them to use uh, alcohol. So we need alternative. So the alternative actually has OCL, uh, we can have the same um, effectiveness, the same like the alcohol base. So these are alternative for those who are like allergic and those uh, who need more safe, like for the pregnant uh, woman or for baby. Uh, this is a, uh, it wouldn't burn the eyes compared to alcohol. Alcohol actually is uh, still have the dangerous, especially for like if they spray on Hand, uh, strain on hand is okay. You will feel it uh, very nice and easy to dry, it won't wet. But if you up, accidentally apply on eyes, it will make you burn. Uh, you feel the burning. It is uh, not comfortable and you need to wash your eyes immediately. Recently, we can, I, I think in the Facebook or in YouTube, someone had recorded it. Uh, the, I think it's a salesperson in, in a shop they accidentally, they, they, they apply the sanitizer, spray, spray sanitizer with alcohol based into their eyes. Actually, it's not into their eyes. They, they, they maybe they, they, uh, the, 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 the salesperson maybe miss, uh, maybe is too busy or maybe too tired. He, she accidentally took out the, he, he, maybe she thought it's the, you know, the temperature gun, she want to do the, the temperature test, but she had she had taken the sanitizer, alcohol, alcohol sanitizer, and spray on the customers' eyes. So it's very dangerous. So they need to immediately go and wash her eyes. So if apply, if uh, the, if she accidentally apply HOCL, it would be okay because it's safe. It's a water and salt, and it's a very mild salt. Okay, we call it salt. Uh, because the content actually is salt, but this salt actually is not the what the salt we use for cooking. This salt actually is to kill virus. Later, I will do more um, explanation on it. Okay, so we go to the next slide. So this is the, I think I written the wrong, actually this is not the HOCL. This is the alcohol sanitizer 60 ml. Okay, you can see the ingredients actually is same like uh, the alcohol base I mentioned just now with the five liter and the 500 uh, ml. 
So it's a gel type, okay? All kind of the, our sanitizer, actually we have the good product uh, certification, okay? And we have paraben free, which is very safe. And we have vitamin E and we have aloe vera uh, ingredients. And this is a 100% safety product, okay? So in every uh, label, we do have the diagram on how to apply it. So for students actually, they can see and they do accordingly, okay? And this is very safe for kids to bring it uh, along, you know? Because uh, they can't do the spray, so it's very safe. They just squeeze and rub on hand. So actually it's very safe for, for children. Uh, this, although it's alcohol based, okay? Also have the 75 denatural alcohol. So next, this a uh, HOCL sanitizer with a 60 ml. So what actually the HOCL is? Okay, actually you see for the 60 ml, we we can uh, we can do it in spray spray way. Okay, you can see the head actually is a spray because it is safe. No matter how you spray, it actually still safe to your eyes. Okay. Uh, even actually the HOCL, some, some, uh, some people, they can apply on ulcer even, ulcer in the mouth. Imagine, mouth ulcer in, in, the, in your mouth, actually you can apply HOCL. HOCL actually is a very effective uh, germ killing. It can kill also 99.99% of germs and 100% is child friendly. So all is a natural and the salt actually uh, is uh, organic and it's non-toxic and disinfectant again, all kinds of viruses. No need to wash after use. We mentioned here also, no need to wash. It's very safe product. So these are actually, these are key ingredients uh, for HOCL is a hypochlorous acid. Actually hypochlorous is a very powerful oxidizer that naturally occurs in humans, okay? And specifically in our white blood cells, pure and clean uses are HOCL instead of harsh chemical to deauthorize and clean, okay? It can, it can, you know, if any auto, also you can apply HOCL to clear, to clean, so you wouldn't have any like odor or smell. So this is a very really good, uh, things okay, and it can apply on any surface and it's very quickly and effectively and thoroughly cover the surface and thinness, uh, and just walk away and just need about 15 seconds. Then we can bite dry, then all the surfaces will be clean and free from viruses or bacteria. Okay, from here, HLCL actually, there are many many types selling also because it's a hot it's a hot product actually as well here you can see it in all kind of uh, platforms uh, shopping platforms you can see as well with some maybe very cheap price and some different different branding but we we need to ensure actually the ppm they are selling must be 200 ppm what's the ppm is it's ppm is stand for parts per million so it must be achieved uh, 200 ppm. Then we can ensure the effectiveness of the sanitizing. Some, some they have uh, only five, 50 or 100. Why, why they have uh, such a low ppm of uh, HOCL is because about the machine. To make the machine, to, to, to make the HOCL actually we required a very spe uh, special machine uh, like uh, actually we just talked about the cost for the machine is about almost a million ringgit Malaysia. We, uh, our mother company had been invested just for the machine, about a, a million. Imagine we need those type of mach machine only we can, create, we can make this type of HOCL with the minimum 200 ppm. 
for all others, uh, cheaper machine or some people they call it still call it HSOCL, they might be lower than 200, it might be 50 or 100. Actually, it also can kill certain type of uh, bacteria or viruses, but, but it's not that effective. So we highly recommend that when you buy HSOCL, you must ensure the ingredients of the HSOCL, it has 200 ppm, which is equal to 0.2% of the HOCL. Okay. I think uh, that's my presentation today. So this is about the sanitizer for the three types of what we're selling. Okay, we have. Okay, thanks. So back to Kate. Thanks. Wow, such a interesting topic <laughs> it takes me some some time to digest this actually is uh actually quite a lot to learn uh, from an expert like you who is uh, very familiar with all these kinds of uh uh chemical component i think i think some of the takeaway that uh we i i'm taking a bit of notes on what is the important thing i think probably um like say with the certification for who it gives us the comfort and the confidence that the product is good. Lah. Because there are so many products coming from China and stuff, right? We also don't know what kind of thing they are using there and whether it's actually effective or we are actually cheating ourselves by using something that may not be suitable at all. You see? So sometimes credible source and credible supplier is uh, very important, especially for us, we deal with... Uh, a lot of international schools. In fact, everything that we sell have to be like uh, certified or CE compliant and such, so that it's safe uh, for consumption. And um, the the other thing is that I also didn't know you have like the things like vitamin E, aloe vera, to uh, to to and this kind of uh, health beneficial ingredients to be looked at actually. So this this is really cool actually, and um. The deduction that I think I came about is that um, the first thing is the sanitizers, which is basically for the hand, and uh, the other one would probably be the uh, disinfectant for larger area. And I presume that the disinfectant that you use is the the the, the what I call it, the cost will be much lesser because you got to spray a big area. I mean, for companies only like us, right? If you spray the alcohol, it's so expensive in the air. You're just like spraying perfume in the air. You're going to cost us a lot of money. So we may actually use the disinfectant as a, a alternative, cheaper source of uh, solution when we need to spray a, a bigger area. And I also like the gel form because uh, it's kind of uh, handy and it doesn't spill and... Uh, make a mess of my bag or my car for the matter. And uh, there's a lot to learn about the HOCL is the first time I heard about this. How how has it been used? And um, it's pretty cool. Uh, one thing for the audience is that uh, all these uh, kind of products, we have actually, uh, what what we do is that uh, I think our, our office actually gathers this information from... Uh, from both Tammy and, and Wai Chen and Vincent's group, and uh, we have actually shared it on our uh, what call it, uh, website. And uh, there are more information there which you can refer to as well. And uh, some of the highlights that I want to uh, share, I don't know whether, uh, whether it's, uh, let, let, let me just share with you. Uh, that we already have on our website is that, uh, Hmm, I think I need to I need to open up uh the uh the, the thing. But anyway, I think you can actually easily go to our website. We actually share more more information about the uh the various types of uh product that uh Y Chen has shared and Tammy has shared. The brochures, everything you can just download. Our website is www.ubsm.com.my and in the uh chat uh in the chat column, I've actually put the uh, uh, ubsm.com.my uh, backslash back to school. Uh, all the information is there. I would also like to highlight that uh, what uh, Wei Chen shared about the posters and so on 
it's good because the things that are, uh, I like the part that you have a QR code where nowadays kids, you ask them to read, they're very lazy to read, but you just scan the QR code and watch the video, then it's okay, it's, it's nice and uh, straight to the point. Uh, we basically like that. And also because of the government compliance, we have to make information flow uh, smoothly so that uh, people can actually uh, just look at a poster and read about it and stuff like that to, to create constant awareness because people tend to forget very fast, especially kids. You tell them one thing, tomorrow they forget. So the posters to be put around the schools is, is also pretty important. Another thing that uh, Winston has shared with me also is that uh, the face shield, the face mask, the face shield, the, uh, the gloves, all those things also we have made available. But one thing that I find is really good is that the face shields, they are various sizes. Because sometimes if you get a kid to wear a giant face shield, it, it, is, it's, it keep on dropping out as such. And then if you get an adult to wear a kid's shield, it doesn't cover uh, fully. So the face shield has to be functional. And I'm glad that they have actually made uh, the appropriate sizes for the kids to use. So does the uh, glove and the uh, and the face mask and stuff like that. It's all actually on the on the website. Uh, I was wondering whether why why Chen are you still around? Uh, can you take a a question or, or two about uh some of the questions that we have received from the uh from the guests actually? Uh, why Chen are you there? Um, uh, I think I think he he sent me a private message that uh. His uh, kids are calling for him, so I will di I will direct the question to to <laughs> see his kid is calling for him, right? I mean, uh, it's kind of uh, the best thing in life is uh, having your kid next uh, to you, right? So, hi, hello, y your daddy is on TV now, <laughs> live. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Wei Chen, the, the question to you first. Uh, they were asking about the uh, the effectiveness of the um, of the water-based uh, solution. Uh, would you highly recommend it uh, as compared to the alcohol and uh, the 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 other stuff? Is it good enough to have the water-based, or is better to have the alcohol one? Uh, do you unmute yourself. Uh, actually, for hand wrapping, uh, we recommend, highly recommend to use the alcohol base. Uh, if if uh, actually they want to use a hash or CL, also can. Uh, sorry, yeah, uh, sorry, uh, I I I think I have something happened. Uh. So <laughs> maybe I I need to take care. So anyhow, still the alcohol base is very recommended to use it. But besides uh, as, uh, the alcohol base. If uh, some people they are allergic to alcohol, we can use a HOCL, which is highly recommended. The, wa the water base actually recommended to do the sanitizing on the room, the big uh, environment. So we recommend to use this infection. Yeah, much the surface and cover a bigger area than you use the, the other one. And so yes. as I was noticing, it's more cost effective to do that as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks a lot for sharing. Yeah. Uh, I would like to ask Tammy the things that uh, you, you were mentioning to use the scanner. It actually saves a lot of time and it will gather a lot of data for the parents and uh, also for the school. All right. Uh, does it link in any system where when once I scan, will the parents receive a note about my uh, temperature or something like that? And then the things that are uh, how, uh, like say in one minute, how many scans uh, would it do? Is, is, is it very fast in capturing the data and the, and the facial recognition from the scanner? Do share a bit more with us. Yes, the verification is very fast. It's around like one second per, per person. So just stand in front of the device and then you get verified. That's all. So for the, for the notification that you mentioned, so I think that it also depends on the school system. So the current current system, how they work, so it's actually on the school system. So the data would be able to integrate with their current school system to make it uh, to make it a, a good system so that it could actually also reduce the workload of the teachers 
and also the the staff so you know use the use the technology so that we can ease our work so we have more time to do other stuff like the teachers so they don't have to do the attendance anymore so they can focus in um, preparing the um, teaching materials and they can focus on teaching so that is their task right so we have to take the attendance taking tasks from the teachers I'm, I'm sure the teacher will appreciate it because the teacher basically says they don't get me to do a lot of other things I want to concentrate on teaching if you could yeah. provide a safe environment and do all this operational stuff please use technology all right now we we always share about this uh, thing where many teachers ask with all this technology, e-learning, online, uh, and stuff like that, will technology actually replace teachers? All right? They were asking. All right. I think generally, from a lot of discussions and talks that we do, uh, we come to a conclusion that technology will not replace teachers, but teachers or school that does not use technology will be replaced by those who use technology. That's a certain yeah. thing. I mean, now that uh, the kids and the school and the public has been exposed to all kinds of technology, you better use it because if you don't use it, you will be seen to be lacking instantly, almost instantly. Uh, it's good uh, that you guys have shared. Uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, I would uh, I actually have this whole session recorded. Later, I'll share the uh, recording with you. Uh, later on, we will also post it up to our YouTube channel. But while we are speaking now, we're actually live on Facebook Live. So you can actually sh just share the link on Facebook Live or repost it to your Facebooks as such. And uh, we hope that this session will help uh, many and bless many as well. Uh, the rest of the uh, participants, uh, would you have any other questions to ask? Or you can just unmute yourself and uh, shoot whatever questions you want for either Tammy, Wai Chen, or Winston, or Emily to answer any question. I guess the presentation is just so good, right? Everybody understand everything perfectly. <laughs> okay, uh, it's getting late. Before we close uh, off the session, uh, Tammy, anything, any last remark to share before we close the session? Uh, you do admit yourself, yeah. Um, I think not much. It's just that um, thank you for the opportunity, and uh, if any uh, inquiry, then can direct to yeah. uh, University Bookstore for the sure. purchase to invest on a good system by a good company. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, how do you find it? First uh, Zoom session and live session. You enjoy it yourself? Yes. We'll be doing much more in the near future. Yeah. I have a chance to do a second one or third one, so I would I would be better on that. So can I, be a Wang Kong, I uh, hope so. Uh, the Wang Kong. <laughs> Wang Kong. <laughs> I already told Emily the things that the next session that uh that's gonna be done is that uh she'll be the host and uh she'll host the session in uh Mandarin because I don't understand Mandarin at all. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but you can present in Mandarin, right, Tammy? Can you? Okay. Hey, good. I think you guys are good in Mandarin. Uh. What about Wai Chen? Anything to share before we close the night? Uh, I think uh, actually thank you for inviting me uh, for today. And it's uh, my very first time to do Zoom Live. So uh, what I can, uh, the last uh, I want to say is uh, just many thanks to everyone. Uh. Okay, so that's, uh, that's it. Uh. Thank you. All right, thanks for sharing. So Emily, you will be the next host. Huh? We can do, do it in Mandarin. And both of them, their Mandarin is better than their English, I'm sure. All right. Okay, with, with that, we call it a night. And uh, for all the guests who have tuned in, uh, good night to you. Uh, stay home, stay safe. And uh, hopefully the economy will go back to normal and everybody uh, get to return and uh, to office and to school and everybody can learn properly and uh, for the adults, earn a living. <laughs> All right. So, well, good night and uh, have a blessed day ahead. So, we'll end the session now. Thank you very much. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.